me a tea. Now, if you watched the last video, you'll know we talked about how you build out the back end of um, an affiliate marketing business, so the funnel, if you like. Talked about the blueprint, how that works. And today we're gonna to talk about how you can build out your landing page. So grab yourself a drink, take a seat, get comfortable, and let's get to work. Okay, so I think we're straight. I'm at my computer. Let's dive straight in now and start this funnel build. Okay, so we're gonna build the first page, the opt-in page or the landing page. Okay, now I'm sharing my screen. As you can see, I'm on the back side of ClickFunnels on the dashboard. If you don't already have ClickFunnels, there's a link below this video for you to actually sign up to the 14 day free trial to get ClickFunnels. Okay, so before you start watching this, go and do that so that you can get set up and you can go along with me as we do this video. Okay, so just pause it here and then you can go and do that. Okay guys, so I think we're ready to start doing this. Now we're gonna be building out the landing page, opt-in page for the funnel, okay? We're gonna go through everything on this video step-by-step -step for the landing page so you can make sure your landing page is up and ready to start collecting emails, okay? The next video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate you, your autoresponder to click funnels to your landing page so that you can get those emails pushed across. Okay, so for now, what you need to do is you need to make sure you have click funnels if you don't already have it. There's a 14 day free trial link below or around this video somewhere. So you can click on that really quickly, go and get your 14 day free trial and then restart the video and we'll get to building that opt-in page. The first place you wanna go when you land on the dashboard here is to click funnels, then you wanna click funnels. Okay, this is going to bring you to your funnels dashboard. This is where all your funnels will be once you've started building some and you're going to click build a new funnel. Okay, this is going to give you three options. Collect email, sell your product, host a webinar. We're going to choose collect emails because that's what we want to do. Okay, then you name your funnel and for this one, I'm just going to call it YouTube training, but you would name it whatever you want. So for instance, if you are promoting legendary marketer, you would maybe call it legendary marketer opt-in or legendary marketer and funnel. We've got various different funnels because there's two of us promoting it and we track each funnel from each platform. So for instance, if you're going to be promoting on TikTok and you might go onto YouTube, you could call it uh, legendary marketer TikTok. But it's entirely up to you. It's just so that you know what the funnel is when you want to go in and edit it in the future. Okay, so for this, we're going to call it YouTube training. Then you've got your group tags. These, these, aren't really that important, but I'm just gonna click my builds. If somebody shares a funnel with you, you will find those funnels in your shared funnels. Okay, so I'm gonna click my builds for this and then build the funnel. This is gonna put everything together in the back end and it's gonna populate all of the templates for collecting an email, okay? So here you can see all the email opt-in templates and there's a few Okay, you can create your own. If, you'll, if you've created one and you wanna save it as a template, you can create your own and save it as a template, that's there. But I'm gonna show you how to work with what ClickFunnels have got and you can then create your own from that. So you don't have to start from scratch, you've got a basic layout, uh, but we pretty much are gonna change most of it up. But this is the one I usually start with, okay? So where is it? Super clean opt-in. Now the reason I go for this plain one over the top of all these ones that look more fancy and maybe more eye-catching is because when you click on something like this that's got a lot going on it can be quite distracting and I've got one simple message that I want the customer to do and that's I want them to read and I want them to resonate so if it if what they see on the page in the words they see if that stands out to them it's something they're interested in the only thing that I want them to do is click on to get more information okay so that's that's what we're going to do here so we're going to select this template, okay? You're going to see what it looks like here in a minute. And it's going to populate it here. Now, this is where you edit, okay? So your edit page here. This is your, con your control version. That's why it says control. If you was going to split test this, which is something that we'll talk about further down the line, then you would create a variation and it would come up here. And this one would be called variation so that you know which, um, which opt-in page is which, okay? So we're not gonna do any split testing or anything right now. We're gonna just look at building out a landing page. Okay, so here we're gonna edit. All right, so on the inside, there's just a couple of things I'm gonna run over before we start editing. And that's the sections, the rows and the elements, okay? The section holds the rows. 
okay and the rows are what you can choose here how many columns go in so if you want a picture on one side and text on another you can't do it with column one because it only has one single column just like just like this here okay see so it's just one single box if you was going to add a column and you wanted multiple so say you wanted a picture on one side and text on another you could do it with two columns if you wanted to do a price list price list like one two and three you would choose three columns so anything that you want side by side and you want a number of them side by side you have to choose the columns to match okay so right now we just want one but i am going to add two in a minute because i do want a picture okay but i'll do that here in a moment and then you've got your elements and these are all the things that you add to the landing page so that you can actually build it okay the elements are the only things that you really are populating okay so headline sub headline uh, paragraph bullet list all of these are the things that you actually see inside the boxes okay and that's where your, your elements are held so what i'm going to do very quickly is just show you how to move this box here because i don't like this big gap here so i'm going to show you how to move these boxes around and get different size boxes if you want one so if you're going to always start with a template, you'll always have one here. It's really easy to change it. You just go into the cog, okay? And we can move this top margin. That's the first setting. It's at the max, so it's brought it right down to the middle of the page. But I want that right up at the top of the page, okay? So I'm just going to bring the top margin down to zero. I can bring it down further by moving the padding here, top, bottom, left, right. I can bring that down here by doing that, okay? I'm probably going to leave that just about there. Okay, now, if you look further down, it says section width is small. I usually like to have it on medium, okay, and it just widens it up a bit. Takes up more of the page, okay, so there's not so much empty space either side. And I don't want it to be sticky, okay. Stickiness means it will stay um, where it is on the page when you, when you scroll. So here, stick to top on scroll, stick to bottom on load. Okay, so I don't want it to be sticky. Okay, so that's how you move your section around. Then inside the section, you've got this blue box and this is the rows, okay? These are the rows that are gonna hold your elements, all right? So you need to have a row before you can add an element, right? And this is where you can put in multiple columns. So for right now, I'm just gonna stick with the one, but right underneath here, where the email address is, we're gonna change this to two and I'm gonna show you how we do it in a minute. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to change what's in here. Okay, so all I did to do that was I clicked on this inside the orange box, clicked on it, it made it blue so I could edit the text and I'm going to delete it. Okay, and I'm just going to type in there, learn to build your online business. Okay, and we're gonna add another element. Okay, so if we wanna add one that's not already here, we just hover over this, a blue plus comes up. Okay, and we're gonna add a sub headline. All right, and then I'm gonna put in just 15 days. And right here, I'm just gonna quickly change it to with with no tech skills or experience, okay? And so now that looks like that, pretty boring. It needs some color, so I'm gonna show you how to add that. And I'm also gonna show you how to change some of the font or text here. So I want your own to be italic, so just highlight it here. Come over here and hit the italic button and then it highlights it, okay? I want in just 15 days, to have an exclamation mark and I want it to be red so I don't need to highlight it and I'm going to come over here to the cog it's going to take me over to the editing panel and I'm going to change this to red okay pretty simple okay that's pretty simple now I need two columns right here right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another row so if I hover over this blue box here as you can see all right I get a blue plus I'm going to click on the blue plus I want two columns and now what's going to happen is it's going to drop two columns where I can add an element in each side. Okay, in this side, I want a photo or a picture. Okay, so I'm going to come across here and I'm going to add image. On this side, I want a new element and I want to collect a name, an email address and a button. Okay, I want to have a button in there. So I'm going to go in here and want to put an input in. 
okay now I've already got an input here so if I don't want to just add a new one I can literally just drag this one and drop it down below that one okay and the same with the button I can just drag this and drop it down below there okay so now I've got my image on this side and my form on this side now when you see a form like this this is what we call a static form okay basically it's already there as soon as somebody lands on the page it's already there I actually prefer to use pop-ups so right here it doesn't show your name or your email address straight away it just says um, give me access or get started or learn more or something like that and then once they click that it takes them to a pop-up they put the name their email in and go through to the next page okay so I'm going to show you how to do that but I want to show you how to do a static form as well in case you want to do a static form okay so that's what it would look like if you do a static form so we're going to put an image in here as well now okay and we're going to go to settings this will take us over here where you can see it says image now right now it's got a placeholder that just says demo image it'll load all of the images you've ever uploaded to ClickFunnels if you've never uploaded anything because you're brand new you can upload by clicking the upload button here that's going to take you across to your computer you can choose an image that you want to upload and just click on it whichever one you want let me say I'll upload that one and then this will populate here in this corner once it's uploaded okay so there it is all right so I actually don't want to use that one I was just showing you how to upload we're going to use this one here okay and I'm going to click on that and hit add image so when you've selected the image you want to use just hit add image and that'll drop that image in there okay so now your page is starting to look a little bit more populated okay so you've got your, your your title learn how to build your own online business in just 15 days with no tech skills or experience okay this is the kind of thing I would use for somebody that wants to learn how to do it so for instance I promote legendary marketer okay so this is the kind of thing I would write for that because I know that legendary marketer is going to help somebody build their own online business they can get started doing it in just 15 days and they don't need any tech experience they don't need any previous experience they don't really need anything at all because everything's going to be taught in those 15 days right here you've got a we will not spam or rent or sell your information it's always a good idea to keep that on there so we're going to drag that down and drop that underneath here as well okay so in here you want to make sure that you're collecting your first name and in here you want to make sure you're collecting an email you don't have to collect a first name if you don't want to you can just collect an email but I like to collect the first name because it allows me to personalize the emails that I send out to people after they've joined the list okay so here it says warning no input type set in order to set this you're just going to click in the box here it's going to come over here where you can actually insert the type so it says here input type not set and then literally just choose full name first name or last name or whatever I usually just choose first name okay and the placeholder text okay so we're not collecting an email an email we're collecting a first name so we'll literally just type first name and I do want this to be required okay so if we hit required it means that they have to input that name before they can click the button otherwise the button won't work all right so first name now placeholder text just means that it, it's going to show the people what they need to put there when they land on this page they'll see here first name and then here they'll see enter your email address okay so we're going to change that there we're just going to make the font the same as the one above okay and as you can see here the first name's to the left this is in the middle I want it to be the same so we're going to come to advanced I'm going to put text align left okay and then that moves it to the left now we're going to change this to something like we don't want to give them a report so we're going to put something like give me access now on this button here what I usually like to put is called an icon we click on the button okay we edit we open up the editing panel go to advanced and down here you'll see icon picker okay icon picker is where we want to be just click on here and you can see all the different icons you can put on this button right I like to use an arrow because that's going to just point to the give me access just adds a little bit more to the button I like it the way it looks visually okay I'm just going to leave that there like that okay and so that's how you find your icons if you do want to put icons on there as well okay so this is your first page 
Now I did say that I didn't like the background. So before we go on to the pop-up, I'm just going to show you how to change the background. So you want to change the background of the section. Okay. So you want to get this green box here on the outside and you want to go to the cog. This is going to give you the option to change your background color. Okay. So this is your background color here, BG color. And then here, I'm just going to make it white. As you can see there, it just changed. That's how I want it. Now it doesn't match this and we need to change this. Well, you can't change this from any of these sections here. You actually have to come over here to settings, go to background, and then you change your background color in here. Okay, now I don't know why it does this, but it does, very annoying. Sometimes it doesn't work. And so the only way that I've figured out how you can change the background color is to go to background in here choose this white thing here and I, I think this might have a texture or a pattern on it okay but we can get rid of that so I'm just going to choose this because it's white add image okay and then you make sure that your background's white okay and then the background changes to white very weird but very fixable okay so now I've got a whole white background so I do want to spice it up just a little bit so in order to do that what I'm going to do is go back to my cog here and I'm going to open my editing panel and I want to actually put a drop shadow on so that it pulls the, the middle part forward. Let me show you. I want 40% drop shadow. Okay. And then this brings the middle bit forward. Okay. I much prefer the way that looks. All right. Now that's that done. If you was going to leave that at that, that's that done. Okay. So you want to make sure as well that you're forwarding somebody to your bridge page. Okay. Now in order to collect the email address and the name, this button must be set here to submit order, submit form. If you don't have it set to submit, it will not collect your email address. Okay. Right. This will automatically send them to the next step in the funnel. Okay. Now, if you wanted to send them to the, to an external, an external uh, page at this point, you would have to go and change something in settings and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. But because we're working from opt-in page to bridge page, we're just going to leave it at the default, which will take them to the next page in the funnel. Okay. So submit order, submit form. Okay. Make sure that it does say that. Okay. Now I don't like these static forms or I prefer to use a pop-up. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to build your pop-up so that you don't collect your name and email address here. You collect it on the pop-up. So we just come here to pop-up, show pop-up. You can see there isn't one built, so we can actually build it ourselves. It's really, really simple. Okay. So we're going to add a new row here right and we're going to choose one column that's all we need for this and then we're going to add an element okay and we're going to add a headline we're going to add another element we're going to add a sub headline we're going to add another element and we're going to add the button okay this is the button they're going to click to get through to the next page okay so here we've got a large headline we're just going to say almost there Okay. And then this one, and we're going to leave this one pretty, pretty, um, basic here. We're just going to put, please enter your best email and I'll send you the details. Okay. Really, really simple. Okay, I'm going to change the size of that font. So if you want to change the size of the font, again, hit the cog and come to font size here. And we're just going to make it. Uh, I'm going to go with a, a 20. Okay. And then I want to change this button. Okay, this is the button that's actually going to send them to the next page. So I want to set the action to submit order form. Okay, and I'm actually going to change that to an 18. I prefer it better as an 18. Okay. So looks really plain. So I'm going to make this button wider here. I'll show you how to do that. Go to advanced and button width. Instead of it being fluid, we're going to change it to full width. That's going to spread out the button, fills out the box more. And we're also going to add a border to this page. Okay. So to the entire page. Now we can't do it here in this box because this is just going to put a board around as far as this bo box goes. Okay. So we're going to edit pop-up settings, right? Then we're going to go to advanced 
and then we're going to go to border i want a full border okay i want it to be five pixels on all edges so the pixels here is the corner radius so if i change it to 20 you can see it goes rounded i prefer it to be more square so we're going to go with five pixels and we're going to go with 10 pixels okay and that's it okay so we've got it set up but we still need to collect an email we're going to use the pop-up okay so we need to add an element here we're going to add an input form okay we're going to add another element and add another input form and we're just going to collect a name and address okay so follow along with me you already have seen how to do this on the previous page so i'm just going to run through it very quickly i want a first name and i want to type first name here okay and then in the second box i want to collect an email address okay and i'm going to make sure it says email address here all right and that's it really simple okay so almost there please enter your best email address i'll send you the details I get the first name get the email address this allows you to personalize any emails that you send out and then this submits the page which will send them on to the next page in your funnel because we've got a pop-up we don't need these so i'm literally just going to delete these and you can decide what you want for your own opt-in page but when you've changed them and you only then have this what you need to do now is actually make sure that this takes somebody to the pop-up okay so we're going to move this down because i want it to be more in the middle like that and i'm actually going to move this as well to the top of this box here like that if you want to change the size of your picture like i do here you're literally going to go on here and just put in your pixel and i'm probably going to run it at 300 like that it'll automatically change the height so the aspect will say the same and that's pretty much it i do want to put a border around it and i'm going to go with white and then i'm going to do a shadow like that okay because the shadow will then show that the picture has a border and that's that's pretty much it okay and you can just play around with this if you want to move it around like that it's really easy to do so i'm just going to leave it like that okay it's really basic it's really plain if somebody wants to know how to build the business in just 15 days with no tech or skills or experience then they're going to click on this button here now i want them to make sure that they go to the pop-up so i'm going to set action open the pop-up okay and that should open the pop-up okay so now we, we can save this when you first click save it's going to ask you to change your seo and your metadata all you're going to do here is name your page okay and as you name it here it's going to sh it's going to show you what it's going to look like say if somebody finds it on google or if you share somebody with share your link with somebody say on facebook in messenger it's going to show you how it's going to populate what it's going to look like a lot of times what will happen is somebody will change their name of their page and they'll forget to do like the social image or putting their name in it or anything like that and it actually does have an impact when the the link is shared with other people and i'll show you what i mean okay so we want to change the title of the landing page uh we're going to call you can call it exactly what your title is if you want so we're going to we're going to put something here like uh, build your online business and then in the description i'm going to put in just 15 days okay and as you can see it changes here build your online business in just 15 days okay then you can just put keywords in here that relate these will help you get found on google but you're going to be directing traffic anyway okay we're well, going to be creating content to drive traffic to your landing page okay and then you're going to put here you're going to put your name so i'm going to put samantha hill okay and then here goes an image url if you don't put this image url in, i'm going to show you what will happen when you share your link okay but this is basically your seo pre preview this is what it's going to look like when you share your link or where it when it's found on google so that's that and then you can save that we've done all that okay so now we can preview okay so hit preview and this is going to bring up with learn how to build your own online business in just 15 days with no tech skills or experience give me access okay it's got a picture of me so basically anything that they see that drives them to this page will be from me so they might see a video on youtube they might see a video on tiktok 
or if they've joined the Facebook group, somebody will see something from me in the Facebook group. Okay, so, but they know it's from me. Generally, they will see my face as well. So when I, when they land on here, they can see me again. They know it's still me that they're with. It's still me that's talking to them. It's still me they're following through this process. Okay, and I think that's really important because sometimes what will happen is an affiliate will grab an affiliate link and they'll direct somebody straight to the product. So they'll click on a link and they'll lose the person that they clicked for. So if you're, if you're telling somebody about something, the next person they see isn't you, it can be a bit confusing. Okay, so this is another reason why we have um, opt-in pages, bridge pages. It's to help ease the customer over to the product. Okay, so I'm going to click give me access. This should open the pop-up. We've got everything that we put in there. Now we can add our email address. We can add our name, click sign up. Now this isn't going to work because I haven't set the next page up, but I'm going to click it and you can see how this would work. Okay, so it's submitting now and then it brings us back to this page because we don't have another page set up yet. Okay, so that works and we can collect email addresses. Okay, so the next thing that you need to make sure you've done once you know that all this works, is you need to make sure that this is mobile friendly because a lot of people will be looking at this on the mobile rather than on the desktop. It's really simple to do that. And all you do here is come across to mobile view. It's gonna show you exactly how it looks on the mobile. You may not wanna change it at all, but you may, it's entirely up to you. We could actually on desktop, we can actually um, bring this up. Okay, and there's a really simple way to do it. Okay, so you basically, you find your box. So this box here, for instance, if I wanna alter the size of this on here, it's going to alter it on the desktop version. To make sure that that doesn't happen, we're gonna duplicate this, okay? So gonna click here, clone. It's gonna give us two of them, all right? Then we're gonna click on the bottom one here to open up the um, editing panel. And we're just going to click that we want this bottom one here to be mobile only. So this won't be seen on the desktop. Okay. Now we're going to go back up to he up to the second one. This one here. We don't want to see this on mobile. Okay. So in this box, we're going to click desktop only. Okay. So now that disappears. So this is the desktop only. This isn't going to change when we edit on the mobile version. All right. So now we go back to mobile version. This says it's mobile only. So anything you do in this now will only affect mobile view. All right. So I do want to make the picture slightly smaller because I think it's too big for mobile. So I'm going to just change it to 200. Okay. And I do want to bring my blue button up closer to the with no tech skills or experience. So I'm just going to bring this up here like that. That's going to keep it all tight. Okay. And I just prefer it. it looks better. You don't want big gaps in it where somebody scrolls and then you've got a big gap before they scroll to the next because they might miss it. They might not scroll at all. Okay. So make sure that that, that does work. It is optimized for mobile. Hit save. If it does this to you and logs you out, literally just hit okay. You can sign back in, just log back in. Okay. And then it's logged you back in. It'll take you back to your dashboard. Go back to your previous page and hit I've logged back in. Sessions recovered, save this page now, hit yes. It saves up here for you and that's it. Okay, so if you don't save in a while, your, your session will time out and it's really simple to get back into it like that. Okay, so now that's it, we've done that. Okay, and we can preview it, but it only previews the desktop version. Now, as you can see, nothing has changed here and that's exactly what you want, okay? So we're gonna hit preview again and that's exactly what it looks like. Okay, to preview the view on your phone, you're going to have to get the link and preview it on your phone. Okay, so let me close that down. Now we've got all this done and we've got it all set up. I'm going to go out of here and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you share your funnel without your social image. Okay, and if you've ever seen this before, now you'll know why. So I'm going to grab this as the, this is the link. Copy and I'm just going to go over to Facebook. And I'm going to share it right here in my Facebook um, Messenger. I'm going to share it with myself. Okay. And I'm going to hit send. Now this is going to load a picture here in a minute. Okay. See that black X? That's what will happen if you don't put your social image in. 
Now, so you really don't want that because that can actually make people think, eh, that looks a bit dodgy, right? So all you need to do here is you go back into your page, edit page, go back to settings, go to SEO metadata, okay? And add your social image. You can use the same image you've used on your funnel or you can use a different image. It's entirely up to you. I usually use an image of me, okay? Because it makes, it keeps it congruent. It keeps... You know, it, people feel safer. They've, they've seen something from me, then they get a picture of me on the front page. Okay, so I usually do that. And then I'm gonna add the image. Okay, and that's my social image. Now, when I share this, that's what somebody will see. So I'll show you again what it looks like with the social image. Okay, so make sure that you do do that. Obviously, always save. If you don't save, you'll lose anything you've just done. And then I'm gonna exit out. I'm gonna get that again copy, go back to Facebook and share it again. And hopefully it will have updated. It usually can take a minute or two to update. So it might not work straight away. Um, well, let's see. There we go. So now we've got an image of me, build your online business, launch the journey, clickfunnels.com. Okay. So at this point here, if you don't want to buy a domain, you don't have to, it's highly recommended that you do. And I do recommend that you go and grab yourself a domain so that you can get rid of this here where it says launch the journey dot click funnels. It would basically be whatever you've signed up to or whatever your name is, right? You don't want, you don't want it to say dot click funnels or use a click funnels domain. You really want your own. For a domain name, you can go to somewhere like Namecheap, Bluehost, GoDaddy, there's lots of different ones. Just search for a, a domain, buying a domain name on the internet. Um, they're the three that we've used before. It's going to give you the ability to actually put your domain name on your funnel. Okay, so right now it's here. It says clickfunnels.com. I don't want it to say clickfunnels. So in order for me to change this, I'm going to click here into settings. Okay, and then I'm going to change domain. Okay, I'm going to put it on launchthejourney.com. It gives you a forward path. So it's going to be YouTube training because that's what I named the funnel. Okay, now once you've done that, you update and save. Go back to steps. Okay, and that's it. You have got your opt-in page built. We may have put a contact in there. We did. So as you can see here, when we went through and tested the funnel, we added an email address. It collected here, okay? Now, once you, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how the emails that are collected here actually get sent to your autoresponder. So we are going to connect our autoresponder to ClickFunnels so we can start building that list. We're gonna create the list as well in that video. Okay, so get started with this. Get your opt-in page built for whatever product you want to promote. If you don't have a product that you want to promote yet, you're gonna to struggle to build that. If you need a product to promote and you are enjoying what you're learning here, then you can go and sign up to the 15 day business builder challenge with legendary marketer, go through their 15 days. Okay. Learn everything that they, they have to tell you. Legendary marketer is going to go through the psychology. It's going to go through the four core business models. It's going to go through the high income skills that you need. It is a very in-depth 15 day training and you get it for just $7. Okay, so that's also gonna give you all that knowledge, all those skills, all that training. And at the end of it, it's gonna give you the opportunity to then share that product with other people. Okay, so then you will have a product to promote as an affiliate. So if you wanna go ahead and do that, the link to the 15 day business builder challenge is also below this video. And I guess that is everything for this video. And I will see you in the next video where we start talking about how to link up our opt-in page to our autoresponder. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.